So today, just got the fifth and sixth volume of One Piece. I actually had to buy this one. The library was out of them. So I've just had an insane amount of trouble with uh, four, five, and six. But we're just about to start. I decided to sit outside. It's nicer. It's far more fun to read outside. Um, so we got five and six. We're in the middle of the fight with the Black Cat Pirates. Um, and so kind of my expectations are what I'm kind of nervous about going into this. The first thing would be what's going to happen with the three kids. I know they ran off in the forest and the hypnotist is following them, so I'm curious how that's going to play out. And obviously the main fight with Luffy, I know Luffy's going to end up fighting. And so I know there's only a little bit, so I'm not actually sure what's going on in the sixth volume. I'm not sure if we're meeting Sanji quite yet. I do remember meeting Sanji, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, let's just get to reading. Although first, let's make some coffee. So I just finished readings volume 5 and 6, and so I have a few initial reactions. Um, first I want to talk about a specific panel, and with the introduction of Sanji, I kind of, for some reason I thought Sanji was introduced a little later in the series, so I'm excited that he's here now because he's one of my favorite characters. And specifically this panel right here, I don't know if you can see that right there, where he just crushes the cook. That introduction specifically to show off his strength and his his motive um, was super exciting to see. And it's one of my favorite parts so far about this is you see a panel like that that's so dark and conveys such like great violence and strength. But then it's constantly off put with a bunch of super humorous animation that it is particularly good and something that continues to stick out to me is that other shows, say like My Hero Academia um, or even Naruto, have funny moments in them. They're funny shows, but they're always far more focused on the conflicts and in My Hero specifically, like the emotional beats of the characters. But for One Piece, it's far more of just like a straight comedy at times. Uh, than I ever really realized when I first watched it. Like, it is hilarious on a page-by-page -page basis, specifically with how Luffy reacts to, how he reacts to Zeph, um, when Zeph keeps telling him that he has to work here for a year, and he just says, no, I'm not going to work here for a year, um, is just so funny, and it's a great way to ke just keep showing the type of person Luffy is. Another thing, a key standout for me on these first six volumes is is how well written the characters are from an ideological perspective. Um, there are a lot of backstories early on um, and things of that nature, but everyone seems to have an ideal and that is their driving force. And that's why it's so easy to connect with people so quickly is that we know how strongly they believe about a specific thing, about a specific ideal. For Sanji, it's never letting people go hungry. I will always feed people. Um, and we've seen that through every pirate we've met, every side character we've met. They all have some goal that they live by. Um, and I ex anticipate this is going to be pretty much the same throughout the whole show or throughout the whole manga I better say um, but still one of my favorite parts of reading it is just how easy it reads I can just fly between page and page panel panel um, 
and it's so easy to follow along. There's never too much exposition. I always can take time to just kind of look through the visuals. I know what's going on. I'm never confused. And it's really just a pleasure to read. And another moment in this manga in volume 6 that I did not realize happened so soon was the introduction of Hawkeye Mihawk. I guess I did realize he did have a little... I do remember him fighting Zoro and having a little you know, insert in the beginning of the series to say, hey, this is the guy Zoro is going after. But I never just, I, I never thought Sanji and Hawkeye happened so soon. And actually during when you meet Sanji, he shows up. And another one of my favorite panels so far is his introduction right there. It is so good. He is one of my favorite characters when I first watched it because growing up, if a character swung around a giant sword like Ichigo from Bleach, I was immediately bought in. But I never got far enough to ever see him be a big player. So that's something I'm really looking forward to in the future. And I love just the respect he gave Zoro. And seeing Zoro fail, this is the first time we've really seen Zoro just get destroyed. Like he had no chance to even come, to even get a scratch on Hawkeye. Um, so that was cool to kind of set power standards. That's another good thing that's happened so far is that every person Luffy has come across, he's been able to beat rather easily. And so setting in like an, I, a goal for Zoro to set up and say, okay, this is how powerful or, you know, maybe a little more powerful, but around there, that's how strong Zoro is going to get, at least for a while. I know there's probably going to be even more escalation. Um, but I think it's starting to do a good job of that. And I, I'm starting to gauge how strong everyone is. Um, so, so far, six volumes in, and I'm absolutely loving it. Um, looking forward to the next three volumes. I do have them checked out, thank goodness. Um, so I'll be reading those soon. Um, and I'm really interested to see how the fight with Don Craig uh, unravels. I'm really curious to see other crewmates potentially fight. Um, some of his pirates, and, and to kind of see more, I, I do briefly remember Sanji's backstory, um, but we haven't quite gotten into that yet, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the next volume or two, so I'm excited to see um, his backstory play out again. I do know basic beats of it, um, but I, I'm curious to see how it reads versus me watching it when I was a kid, how impactful it is. Um, and I have some theories on how, why I think Oda does, like, the sad anime backstory better than a lot of authors. And after I read Sanji's, if it is indeed in the next volume or whenever we get to it, I think I'll discuss that uh, more. So you can look forward to that probably in the next video. I, I'm pretty sure the backstory is coming up. Um, but overall, loving it. I, I'm still just dumbfounded at the artwork it's so good and it's so unique that it, it's so easy to read through and I can just stare at it for hours um, so I can't wait to keep reading it and hopefully I can see you in the next one